Hello everyone and welcome to questions and answers based on the course of computational finance. Today we have question number 28 out of 30 and the question for today is what instruments to choose to calibrate your pricing model. This question is about a, a pricing exercise. So we have a system of stochastic differential equations that we would like to use for pricing of some exotic derivative. The question is how to calibrate, what instruments to choose uh, for the calibration purposes, such that we can accurately price uh, the exotic derivative. A uh, very short question to this very uh, rather involved question would be always use the hedging instruments as the calibration instruments. So what I mean here, if we have a market instruments, market data, for example, implied volatilities, yield curve, and so on, and our payoff, our exotic payoff that we want to price is sensitive to those market instruments, then those instruments should be used somehow in your calibration routine. If we have, for example, consider a case where we have, uh, I'll make here very simplified volatility uh, surface. So we will have here, um, here will be the direction of strike K. And here we have uh, expiries. And here we have a sigma one, one, sigma one, two, and so on. And then we can have more sigmas. So those are the implied volatilities that we will have for corresponding call option prices or European type of options. So we have a matrix of sigmas. If we know, so here let me do it, sigma i j, sigma i j plus one, and so on. So if we price our exotic derivative and we would, in this scenario, we have certain price for this set of uh, market instruments. Now we would change slightly so this means let's say plus epsilon uh, in finance we call it shock or a bump our market instrument and then we would recalculate the price of our exotic derivative so we would have a, a exotic derivative let's call it price one and then we have a price uh, one and this would correspond to the new market data if this uh, let's say we can actually look at the difference. If the difference of these two prices is zero, this means that our exotic derivative is insensitive to this market instrument. And then we can continue through all the market instruments, all these volatilities one by one, and we can do this experiment. So this is essentially calculation of Viga array. If we have, for example, this difference between the option, our exotic option price, an exotic option price evaluated at the shocked instrument, it's non-zero. This means our uh, exotic derivative, it is indeed sensitive to that market quote. This means this uh, instrument should be used in the calibration purposes because likely it can be used in uh, hedging purposes. Because if we had this difference is non-zero, this would suggest that we have some exposure to this particular risk. This means that by buying or selling, offsetting this risk by buying uh, option prices, European type of options, we can hedge that vigor. So this means uh, that uh, indeed sensitivity, so hedging instruments are the ones that determine what are the calibration instruments in our, uh, for our exotic derivative. Um, to summarize also, we can take a look at the whole pricing exercise. So what are the steps necessary to price an exotic derivative? First, of course, we always start with a financial product. We just don't take a model without uh, considering what type of payoff we have. We always look at the start with a, a derivative that we wish to price. And then starting on, uh, from that point, we determine what are the models that we can use for pricing that derivative. What are the market data necessary uh, as the inputs for this model to be calibrated and so on. So we always start with some financial product. Then we find what are the appropriate uh, differential equations, stochastic differential equations that are suitable for pricing of that derivative. Whether we price something which is sensitive to the smile or skew, maybe stochastic interest rates and so on. But this is the moment when, where we define a system of stochastic differential equations that is based on the product of interest. Next point is to, cali to calibrate the model. And as I already have discussed, uh, this is also related to point number one, where we would need to choose a set of instruments for calibration. So typically, those would be the European type of options. If we talk about equity market, 
uh, equity asset class, we would use uh, European type of options to calibrate our advanced, let's say, stochastic volatility model. And then we would use that model to price an exotic derivative. Then we have a, a mathematical part where we uh, model prod product price uh, according to the stochastic differential equations and the derivative. So this means that we choose a method uh, depending on the payoff, whether we will solve it with a partial differential equations or it's an integral form, Fourier expansions, or maybe some other uh, possible techniques that can be applied to price an exotic. Because at this point, we don't claim that we always price exotics with Monte Carlo, for example. There could be also other methods, and this is also discussed in detail in lecture number 12, where I have uh, covered all the possible or many possible angles on pricing of an exotic derivative. Then we go to the next point where we actually evaluate our uh, exotic derivative. So this means we apply numerics, whether it is with a PDEs or numerics with Monte Carlo, where we discretize our problem and uh, implement it, implement it in, uh, in Python or MATLAB, and then we can actually get our price option price. And the final point is to manage our risk. So at point number five, we have a price of derivative, but then in point number six, we have to hedge. This means that um, what happens after today, after the trade took place, takes place, tomorrow and day after and day after, we have to manage the risks associated with the derivative. This means that we have to recalibrate the model we have used for pricing of exotic derivative, and then manage the hedging uh, coefficients. We have to hedge our position such that the risks uh, associated with our exotic derivative are managed and controlled. So this is basically a little bit long answer to the uh, short question, but, bottom, but, but the bottom line of this question is always use uh, hedging instruments uh, of your exotic derivative as the calibration instruments. I hope it explains. If you have more questions, please write in the comments. See you next time. Bye-bye.